。好，第十条啦，继续做个实验咯，改良咗个装置之后啦，咁学生咧就真系有啲数据咯，就表达翻喺特定时间入面咧，究竟啊收集咗几多嘅氧气 ？X axis 咧就系时间 ，W X Y Z 啦，随住时间过去啦，我哋咧就去量度翻究竟收集咗几多嘅氧气。咁不厌其烦都提一提啦 ，D V 就系喺一个特定时间入面咧，我哋所能够收集到嘅氧气，而 I V 咧就系唔同嘅温度，而今次咧我哋就量度紧喺室温嘅情况底下个反。反应会系如何啦？咁正如头先我哋所讲啦，个学生咧就想喺特定时间入面咧就量度下究竟收集咗几多氧气，就作为我哋嘅 DV， 从而啦就去调查一下究竟唔同温度对于个过氧化氢酶有啲咩嘅影响。咁究竟啦喺 A、B、C、D 边段时间系最适合攞嚟做个量度嘅咧？当年呢条题目咧，得两成二嘅同学答啱嘅啫。其实好多同学咧都系拣咗 C 同埋 D 嘅，因为佢哋会觉得咧。一系唔度，要度梗系度晒噶啦，两 s 就算你唔度到去二 s 咁远嘅时间啊，起码都度到 Y 啊，系嘛？去到 Y 就平平地啦嘛，咁我咪去到 Y 咁咪算数咯，系咪？两个都系错，因为根本就唔需要去到 Y 同埋去到 s 喺呢两个时段，其实个 reaction 都差不多完啦，都冇乜氧气去产生啊，你度嚟做乜啫？所以呢，就得返 A 同 B 咯。咁究竟我哋系？度零到 W 呢个较为斜嘅位置好啊，定还是度埋去零到 s 呢个再上升少少嘅层次好呢？而我哋要去量度一个最即时嘅变化呢，就一定係 A 嘅。就係、是、零到 W 呢個時間，因為佢呢就係最初次嘅速度，全部濕水都仲響樹嘅，所以一加埋落去個過氧化氫酶呢，就即刻有反應俾你睇得到㗎啦。但係去到零到 set 呢，其實呢一段嘅時間呢，其實佢所產生嘅氧氣呢，已經係少咗㗎啦。咁啊，因為啲雙氧水呢，其實都已經俾你用咗一啲去，所以個反應都唔係咁確切嘅。所以最適用嘅呢，就係 A 啦。Question ten: We continue the experiment after modifying the setup. The following graph was obtained, which show the volume of gas collected over time at room temperature. So we can take a look at the x-axis. That's the time along the time. So we can measure the volume of oxygen gas produced. So I need to recall the variables again. dV is the volume of gas collected over a fixed period of time, and the iV is the different temperatures. And in this setup, we are checking the room temperature. What should be the effect on the catalyst activity? So the student plan to use the volume of gas collected over a fixed period of time as the dV to study the effect of different temperature on catalyst activity. So which of the following is the most suitable time period for the measurement? In this year. There were only 22% students got it correct, and most of them they chose option C or D because they may think that even we do not do the measurement from zero to Z, at least we need to make the measurement from zero to Y. Both of them are the wrong concept because during this period, the reaction almost stopped. So there was just very small amount of oxygen or even NO no oxygen gas are produced. So that's why we do not need to measure that long. So we do not take that long time for the measurement. So what about options A and B? So what about options A and B? What about option B from zero to Z? Actually, within this period, the reaction rate is slower due to the disappearance of the substrate. So that's why we shall not see that much change. In the volume of oxygen collected, so that's why option B is also wrong, and the final answer is A. Within this period of time, so the reaction, what we call, is the initial rate, because all the substrate they are present, and once they contact with the catalase, so the reaction will start. So we can make a more obvious measurement.